Hey friends, and welcome back to the channel. And thank you for participating in my one year anniversary giveaway of Touch OSC. Um, as you've heard before, Hexler Industries and I are giving away two more free copies of Touch OSC's app. But before we announce the winners, let's take a look at a few tips and tricks that I'm surprised few people don't know about in Touch OSC. So here are a few tricks for you in TouchOSC. Uh, a lot of people don't know about these, so let's take a look at number one. Let's jump into TouchOSC, and right now I'm just working with the desktop version, but you can also see what's going on on the app below. So here we are in TouchOSC. First off, if you want this to be portrait, here we are. If you want it to be landscape, all you do is change the height and width. It's pretty obvious, but some people have missed that. So the first thing I wanna show, let's add just a box. Now this box here, we can drag it and move it, but if you hold control while moving it, you'll only move it on the X and Y axis. So you can see I can't move it on a, a diagonal. It's only going to stay on the X axis or stay on the Y axis. So that's super helpful in making a nice clean template. All you have to do is hold control to be able to move it straight up or control and hold it to move it left or right. Now this is a great tip that Felix announced on the Discord server. So if you're not already on the server, definitely join because there's a lot of cool stuff going on there. So let's just add a button and then let's add a label. And if you were imagining that you wanted to set something up like a local message uh, to send from this button to this label, what you could do is go down here and you could add your local message. That's the traditional way of doing it. But you could also do this. Before even adding a message, we're gonna select our item, hold Alt and click and drag. And then you can see it added a local message to the object. So let's add another button. There's no local message on that. There's no additional local message here. We're gonna hold Alt click on where we're starting from, and then where it goes, it automatically adds it in. Additionally, let's say we wanted this button to add a local message here. You could add your local message in the traditional manner, but instead of doing the eyedropper on the item here, you can actually do it on the tree. And so you can see that I was able to select label two with the eyedropper for my local message. Super useful. Okay, so let's take a look at tip number three, which is adding a pull for an object like a fader. So let's add a fader here, and let's make it nice and big. And right here on my iPad, if I was to select this and move it around, you can see that it stays where it is. Now, if you want this to pull down, let's say you, you wanna put it up and then it automatically will come back down, what you can do is select this, and then here under the X value, increase your pull. So you could put it at 20, which would be a little bit slower. So I turn up the fader and then it slowly turns down. Obviously, if I turn it up really high, it'll move down even quicker. So now you can also put this at a super low level, like select this and put it at, let's say a 10, and it'll give you a really slow fade down. So hopefully these quick tips help you out with your Touch OSC template. So now let's get to the winners of the giveaway. So you had about a one in 30 chance, so like a 3% chance to win. So good job for everybody who entered. And let's find out who they are. So I randomly assigned everybody a number and now we'll just spin the wheel. And it looks like our first number is nine. So number nine. Pull this up here is Giovanni. Congratulations, Giovanni. So congratulations, and our second winner will go ahead and spin that wheel again. And the second winner is number 26, so let's check that out. 
And our second winner is number 26, who is Kirk. Nice work, Kirk. So congratulations to the winners. Thanks for entering into the contest. It'll be more fun down the line, and we're almost done with the year, but we still have some more to learn. So stay tuned because we're going to dive into a subject that I've gotten the most questions about lately, which is sending and receiving OSC messages in Ableton. I'll see you next time.